it could be the most consequential race of the year. And that is a matchup that really could determine who controls the Senate. And that is why it is so crucial. The Democratic nominee, John Fetterman, has been off the campaign trail for months due to the sudden stroke that he had. And the Republican, Dr. Mehmet Oz, is facing questions about why, well, he's not in the state. He's apparently been in New Jersey and not capitalizing on his opponent's absence on the campaign trail in Pennsylvania. Jeff Zeleny is out front tonight in Pittsburgh. It's been two months since John Fetterman hit the campaign trail in Pennsylvania. For an election now less than four months away, a race with Mehmet Oz that could determine the balance of power in the Senate. Fetterman is still slowly emerging from a near deadly setback, a stroke and heart condition that sent him to the hospital on May 13th. Four days later, he swept to an easy Democratic primary victory. John is going to be back on his feet in no time. But ever since, he's been sidelined and fighting to recover. A surprise visit with Democratic volunteers last weekend, seen here in this edited campaign video, showed both the promise of his return and the serious steps still ahead in his rehabilitation. We will be back out on the trail soon. We're almost at 100 percent. So. His speech is halting, yet stronger aides say than a month ago. It nearly almost was the end of my life, you know, and it's totally changed my life since then. His surprise appearance at the Pittsburgh campaign office brought a smile and sense of relief to Janice Gladden, who was sitting only a few feet away during Fetterman's brief stop. It was great to see him. He was, you know, he just looked so vibrant, like he really came through all of those uh, difficult health problems. Have you been wondering how he's been doing? Yes, yes I have. Yes I have. While Oz is seeking to capitalize on his celebrity as a TV doctor, some Republicans worry whether he's taking proper advantage of Fetterman's absence. His TV ads have gone dark since winning a hard-fought primary in May, leaving the airwaves to his Democratic rival. Pennsylvania is our home, and it's worth fighting for. From afar, Fetterman is badgering Oz for recently moving to Pennsylvania after living in New Jersey for more than three decades, flying a welcome home banner over the Jersey Shore. I'm here to speak truth to power. He also blasted Oz for filming a video from his New Jersey mansion, an assertion Oz did not deny. Republicans, meanwhile, are deploying a missing persons poster of Fetterman, also arguing he's too extreme for Pennsylvania. The last time Fetterman appeared at a campaign event was May 12th. His wife, Giselle, told us she noticed something was seriously wrong the next morning came back to the car, was talking to me, and for one second, his mouth moved in an unnatural way. Immediately that second, I rushed him to the hospital. He left the hospital nine days later with a defibrillator implanted in his chest to recover at home in Braddock, just outside Pittsburgh. Summer Lee, a Democratic state representative who's running for Congress, said she often sees Fetterman out walking as he continues to recover. Obviously, the sooner we can get him back on the trail, the better. But if we can get him back uh, ready to go for the, long, for, the, for the long haul, you know, after Labor Day, I think that he's going to be in good shape. And I think that we are going to be better for that patient. Jeff, you know, so look, months off the trail, uh, this race is so crucial. Uh, you know, you, you've got a, a rival who doesn't spend much time in the state. How is this playing out with voters? Are they the voters that you spoke to worried about Fetterman's health, his ability to do the job? Well, look, Aaron, Fetterman has been out of sight, uh, but he's not been out of mind. Uh, mm -hmm. Usually several times a day, sometimes hour by hour, he is engaged on social media, responding to the issues of the day on Twitter, going after Oz on Twitter as well. But the voters we talked to uh, have been wondering exactly where he is, have been wondering how his health is. It's all sort of uh, meant out of concern, of course, but there was a, a mm -hmm. deep sense of relief uh, when his campaign posted that video on Saturday of him uh, walking and speaking. The question, of course, is, Will he be ready for debates with Oz in the fall? Now, there is still a date that some Democrats are talking about, August 15th. That's the last date to change his name on the ballot. His campaign says that is not going to happen. He's moving forward. But, Aaron, Election Day is in less than four months. Well, Aaron. Jeff Zeleny, thank you very much from Pittsburgh.